Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Patrick Kilpatrick back to the stage with television host Brandy Williams. Well, clearly one of the most eminent composers of our time, Mr. David Shire has composed prolifically for theater, film, television, and recordings. He has been honored with two Grammy Awards and an Academy Award, along with multi-Tony and Emmy nominations. Among Mr. Shire's long list of film scores are the Oscar-winning theme song for Norma Ray, titled It Goes Like It Goes, the well-known scores for Francis Coppola film The Conversation with Gene Hackman, and for Saturday Night Fever, the achievement that won him the two Grammy Awards. Great list. Moreover, his hundreds of television scores likewise have garnered five Emmy nominations. They include Glenn Close's Sarah Plain and Tall, Christopher Reeve's Rear Window, and Oprah Winfrey's the women of Brewster Place. Mr. Shire has also conducted exciting pops programs with some of the world's most respected symphony orchestras while also leaving a legacy in musical theater with multiple Tony nominations, works produced worldwide, and songs that have been sung by the likes of Barbara Streisand, Johnny Mathis, Vanessa Williams, as well as one brilliant singer who will be performing with Mr. Shire today. And her name is Ms. Melissa Manchester. Her gift for music took flight early in her youth, and she quickly rose from being a backup singer for Bette Midler and Carnegie Hall to just months later performing for sold out audiences across the country and releasing hit singles like Midnight Blue and Whenever I Call You a Friend. Ms. Manchester has also performed popular songs like Don't Cry Out Loud and You Should Hear How She Talks About You which won her a Grammy Award for Best Female Vocalist. She was the first in history to sing two Oscar-nominated songs in the same Academy Awards Global telecast. Miss Manchester continues to be active in the fields of television, musicals, and film scoring, and was recently celebrated by the National Academy of Recording Arts and Sciences for her contributions. Please enjoy For the Afternoon Walk, and A Lonesome Night, poems by Supreme Master Ching Hai and vocals by Melissa Manchester. The composer, Mr. David Shire, will be providing accompaniment on the piano. How's everybody doing so far? Are you enjoying this afternoon? Yeah, it's very touching, isn't it? Very touching. Hi. This has been a doubly pleasurable occasion for me. For Not only have I had the great honor of collaborating with Supreme Master Ching Hai on two songs for the afternoon walk and a lonesome night, but I've had the great joy of working again with a dear old friend, Melissa Manchester, who's going to perform them. So here first is for the afternoon walk.
Thanks for the seconds. Thanks for the night. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's delightful to be here, part of this, uh, this afternoon's deeply meaningful experience to uh, so many people around the world. It's touching to be part of an event that connects so many hearts and minds and behaviors, changes in, in thoughts about um, how to treat ourselves and how to treat our world. And my, my extra special delight is being able to sing the music of my precious friend, David Shire. And he had the great uh, good fortune to lift the beautiful words of Supreme Master. So it's a, it's a great honor to be part of that uh, artistic cr uh, creativity. So next we will sing Lonesome Night.
Beautiful, beautiful. Abby. All right, so while we wait for our next uh, act to set up, being such animal lovers that we are, yep. here are a few fun facts about some animals and insects. Okay, what do you got? Did you know that ants are very clean insects? I did not know that. Yeah, see? Worker ants take the garbage out and put it in a very special pile. Wow. And then you got a rhinosaurus beetle. Hmm. You can just see that everyone is like with the big... It can lift 850 times its own weight. Kind of like you. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have one. Guess what is the world's loudest animal, other than my kids? <laughs> Any guess? Any guess? The world's loudest animal? A whale. You, you, you see the answer up there. I want to win. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about that? He got it. The answer is the blue whale, which can produce sounds of 188 decibels, which can be detected over 800 kilometers away. Hmm. Wow. Man, who needs a telephone? So why'd you go vegan, John? I uh, decided I was a vegetarian for a long time, and then at, I went in and started studying Scientology, and I took a couple of courses in Scientology, and one of the courses I took was integrity and morals. I just study everybody's faith, and then I go on to the next one. I'm, <laughs> I'm not a follower. Uh, <laughs> I'm a maker. So I just wanted to see what everybody was doing. And I went in and I thought this course was unbelievable. And they said, if you lie, you're a coward, period. If you lie, you're a coward. The reason you're lying is because you don't feel that other person is intelligent enough to deal with the truth. So I was insulting people's intelligence with my lies, even though they were great lies. Some of my lies are so good, I went back and made them the truth. <laughs> <laughs> so those kind of lies was just really was making me this seven foot, supposed to be huge man, a small punk. So I decided not to lie anymore. And so every year on July 30th, with my daughter's birthday, I find out how to en enhance my life. And then one day, I was, I was turning 40. I said, I'm not gonna lie about anything. So you cannot say you're a vegetarian, meaning you don't eat animal product when you drink milk and eat cheese. Because when you drink milk and eat cheese, you add to the demise of more animals. And, and you add, suffering. And suffering. So if you're not gonna, you can't say you don't eat the animal and you partake of things from the animal that were taken from the animal. So I decided to become a vegan. And then I met all these different raw foodists and my latest find, who uh, the best I've tasted, when I was in a meeting that I didn't want to be in, b -Li kept bringing me food and he wrote this letter, and I read this letter, and I was like, all right, I gotta try it. So July 30th, I tried it again. I, today, I ate some vegan food, but I've been literally just on this path, I guess that you're supposed to, as Supreme Master Ching Hai said enlightenment, and you can only enlighten yourself. So that's what I did. That's why I became a vegan slash raw food vegan. I'm not doing the breath thing, what's it called? Breatharian. I'm not, I like the way food tastes. Why'd you become a vegan, Lisa? Um, well, I've been a vegetarian almost all my life, and um, I, I think I just saw one too many videos and read one too many books about animal cruelty, and I realized that I, I just wanted to completely opt out of animal cruelty. And so three times a day, I vote against animal cruelty by not buying any animal products. And wow. that's how I feel about it. The truth is that the only way that you really can eat eggs or milk or animal products is if you choose not to look at what goes on in the industry. I mean, really, it's the only way. Because any video that anyone ever makes inside a factory farm shows cruelty, it shows awful cruelty that, you know, it's really not even polite to talk about in mixed company. You know, I do encourage everybody to go on like PETA's websites or any of the websites and, you know, read Eating Animals by Jonathan Safran Foer or, you know, any of the wonderful books that have been written, Animal Watch Liberation. Watch this. Yeah. Earthlings. And, you know, it's a myth to think that the cows are happy cows, that the industry wants us to think they're out there on the beautiful green hills because they're not. And it's a myth to think there's little happy chicks in the farmyard because they're not. And it's an intensely cruel cruel industry. 
So I, I choose not to be part of it. Further ado, the rock quartet Oh Darling has been praised for their buoyant, charming pop with catchy songs and adorable melodies, many of which have been featured in television series on the CW, Lifetime, and USA, commercials for Volkswagen, network promos for Grey's Anatomy, and in the film Road Trip 2. Singer keyboardist Ms. Jasmine Ash, bassist Ms. J. Marie Hall, guitarist Mr. Davin Hall, and drummer Mr. Jake Endicott are all involved in the producing process from start to finish. All right, our darling harmonious presence uh, goes beyond their well-coordinated retro fashion of dress. Which is awesome, simple. and we love it. Uh, as a new wave pop is their music, veganism is their shared lifestyle. Please enjoy I Need You and Holiday, two original songs by the lovable O'Donnell. Woo! Hey. Have did. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Lindsay Wagner, a vegetarian Emmy Award winning actress. Hi, I have the pleasure this evening of introducing someone who, for many of us, would instantly recognize his film scores and television themes upon hearing them. Such memorable compositions include uh, Rocky, The Right Stuff, Karate Kid, and TV shows like Good Morning America, Dynasty, and Newsstand, CNN, and Time. These were all composed by one of Hollywood's most respected and energetic composers and conductors, the Oscar and Emmy Award winning Mr. Bill Conti. The soundtracks for more than 120 feature films, TV projects, over 8 million albums and singles have been sold, including Sheena Easton's hit record, For Your Eyes Only. As a conductor, he has traveled the globe working with numerous world-class orchestras and has served as music director for the Academy Awards an astonishing 19 times. Honored with an Oscar, three Emmys, and a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Recently in June, Mr. Conti served as music director for a grand star-studded event with U.S. President Barack Obama at the famous Ford Theater. On two previous occasions, the legendary artist also created orchestral arrangements and composed music based on Supreme Master Ching Hai's poetry. They were performed during a benefit concert at the Shrine Auditorium in Los Angeles and at the Supreme Master Television's third anniversary celebration. Now for Supreme Master Television's fourth anniversary, Mr. Conti has graciously composed two more beautiful melodies from Supreme Master Ching Hai's poems. It's not easy to go, and when you said you love me. These two compositions will be presented by the talented singer, actress, and dancer, Ms. Karen Ziemba. She is a Tony Award-winning performer and one of Broadway's most versatile and sought after, especially recognized for her role in a production of Contact at the Lincoln Center Theater. Now, Ms. Ziemba's other Broadway appearances include Chicago, Chorus Line, and Never Gonna Dance, which garnered Outer Critics Circle Award and a Tony nomination. At New York City Opera and regional theaters, she's played leading roles in many other famous performances. Miss Zimba's magnetic presence uh, has also been seen on television and many other places, such as on PBS, NBC's productions, uh, The Producers, and Alec Baldwin's film, Shortcut to Happiness. And now, without further ado, the world premiere of Mr. Bill Conti's It's Not Easy to Go, followed by When You Said You Love Me, with accompaniment by jazz composer Mr. Bill Conaliffe and flutist Mr. Robert Flockhart. Hello, everyone. I'm so proud and honored to be singing the words tonight of Supreme Master Ching Hai. They're beautiful, beautiful poetry, and I hope she enjoys the music which has been written to accompany her lovely words. Thank you. There is a black bird lonely on the roof. There is a storm. snow falling softly in my mind It's not that easy It's not that easy to decide There is a hard place where I want Stay, but I'm just a boy. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Brandy Williams back to the stage with Cameron Albrazian, a British Persian recognized as the first male supermodel. Dr. Ian Yeoman Wenton hails from Bali, a famous Indonesian island highly cultivated in the arts and steeped in Hindu spirituality. Dr. Wenton is a most accomplished traditional artist coming from a family lineage of great performers. Trained both traditionally as well as formally, he has received his master's at the California Institute of the Arts, doctorate from the University of California, Los Angeles. Dr. Wenton has toured all over the globe, giving lectures, performing, while also collaborating with a number of noted international artists. In 1972, Dr. Wenton co-founded Bharat Wangi with the late KPH Notoprojo, internationally eminent Javanese musician and composer. The ensemble is an authentic Balinese gamelan, an ancient musical ensemble that's uniquely native to Indonesia. Based at the California Institute of Arts, Bharat Wangi, meaning fragrant offering, is widely esteemed for wholeheartedly presenting authentic Balinese music and dance. First will be the solo mass dance titled Tari Topang Karas, which depicts the might of a prime minister of the past. In this virtuosic Balinese dance form, watch as the dancer makes the mass come alive. The second performance, Puspanjali, features six women dancers and portrays an offering to the gods through the Balinese temple dance, Rejang. It's also a gesture to welcome and bring goodwill to the audience. Dr. E. Nyoman Wenton leads the live gamelan musicians. Let us now be transported to a whole new time and space to the glorious and ancient Bali, Indonesia.
Please welcome Trina Parks, the first African American actress in a James Bond film and a proud vegetarian for over 30 years. Thank you. So, really, so glad to be here because being a vegan for a long time, before it was even known around the uh, United States, anyway, I'm very, very proud to be a part of this whole event. She has sold more than two million albums in just several years. I Love You Always, Forever, the first single of her debut album in 1996, soared to the top of the charts in countries around the world and made history as the most played single ever on radio. Subsequent albums like Blue Planet revealed more great singles like I Could Be The One, a favorite in Europe, and Love Him, which reached the top of the Billboard dance charts in the US. This global sensation is none other than the gifted Welsh platinum singer and songwriter, Ms. Donna Lewis. Her voice of stardom was also heard in the song at the beginning, a duet with Richard Marks for the animated movie Anastasia. High profile collaborations and new and exciting albums mark her ongoing successful journey. Today, we are delighted to have Miss Donna Lewis share these songs. The first two songs are her musical renditions of Supreme Master Ching Hai's poems, Love Followed by Faded Love. She will then perform her own song titled Ireland. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Miss Donna Lewis, accompanied by Mr. Davin Hall on guitar and Miss J. Marie Hall on bass. Love leaves, love 
I was very honored um, to write these two songs um, with Supreme Master Ching Hai's lyrics. I, I am a songwriter myself, and I write my own lyrics, so this was unusual for me. But I have to say, when I read her poetry, these two songs really spoke to me, especially that one. I think it's like a universal, beautiful song um, for the world. And um, it's my little pop song. And uh, this next song is called Faded Love. As you can see, I'm obsessed with love. Uh, this is a slower song. Um, but I have to say, I'm very honored to be here. In fact, when my son saw the DVD of the last show they did, he was watching the Supreme Master speak, and he said to me, Ma, he's seven, you have to do that show. I mean, I think really he wanted to meet her. Um, but he really connected with her, which was really beautiful. I really enjoyed writing these songs. It was a great experience for me, as I said. I'm normally very controlling and write everything myself. But um, as I say, these two um, are beautiful lyrics. I have to say thank you to my wonderful members of my band, looking extremely cute. This song is called Faded Love. Oh, rivers flowing downstream. Carry on for me a few hopes and dreams. You are gone, leaving love. It sailed to destinations unknown, leaving by the bridge. Yeah. 
This next song of mine is off my recent record called In the Pink, and it's called Island. What was so wonderful when I did this uh, record of mine in the pink, we had a studio in a house in Dublin in Ireland, and we were very lucky because as you walked outside the house, every, every day we had this incredible view of Dublin Bay. Of course, I fell in love with the Irish people, of course. I'm Welsh, so I would. Um, but the Irish people were wonderful, and th this scenery was absolutely stunning. And I was very inspired by this, and um, this is a song called Ireland. <laughs> Yeah. 
Thank you very much. That was amazing. We're getting such wonderful representation of music from all over the world. Long, long ago, for seven days, water was poured from a golden pitchers at the temple in Jerusalem, accompanied by a song and dance, all ecstatic celebration. As the earth is blessed with water, so are all the earth's inhabitants blessed as well. For nearly three decades, the Keshet Chaim Dance Ensemble has been dedicated to celebrating the peace-loving heart of Jewish, hooray, and Israeli culture. Hooray! Hooray! My people, by blending contemporary and folk dance traditions. Please enjoy this exuberant performance by Keshet Chaim Dance Ensemble, titled Simchat Bet Ha Shoiva.
Gentlemen, please welcome again Emmy Award winning actress Lindsay Wagner. Well, that was incredible. Mr. Tuan Dak was born into a family of celebrated performing artists. His parents and his siblings were all accomplished entertainers. Uh, Tuan Dak was uh, himself singing on radio at the age of four. And during his adolescence, he was uh, already a pop singer for two of the most popular bands at that time, the Strawberry Four and the Top Five. Since then, his illustrious music career has continued to flourish. Duan Nok is one of the top male vocalists of the Olaxis or the Vietnamese language. And he's much beloved by many audiences, especially for his romantic ballads. He once said, I believe that an artist needs to have an inner romantic quality in order to portray emotions. He is happily married to Ms. Tai Tao, daughter of the legendary composer, Mr. Pham Zui. Ms. Ha Tran is one of the most popular singers from Olak or Vietnam at this time. And in 1998, the Olak Z's media and public selected her as one of the top 10 singers in the nation. And she was also voted as one of the four top divas in her home country in 2002. A multi-award winning actress who's performed extensively in more than 20 countries she has collaborated with highly regarded um, international artists such as jazz musician Ian Shaw and the American country music legend Lobo. Her album Solar Eclipse was acclaimed as a cultural phenomenon in 2002. We are pleased to have the lovely and talented Ms. Ha Train with us today. Now the first song is going to be a duet by Ms. Ha Tren and Mr. Tuan Nok. And I'm working on my Vietnamese, bear with me. <laughs> it's entitled, uh, Please Keep Forever. It's composed by Mr. Chu Min Ki. And this will be followed by a solo rendition of Thoughts on an Ordinary Day, composed by Mr. Win Twin Khan, with vocals by Mr. Tuan Nok. Both pieces are musical compositions of poems that were written by Supreme Master Ching Hai in her beautiful native language, Olaxis. So please welcome Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Supreme Master, I love you, but next time I just introduce the Americans. <laughs> so please welcome Mr. Tuan Nok and Ms. Ha Tren. Những 
lời tha thiết chỉ nhìn nhau bằng tiếc mắt trăng sao chỉ cho nhau những nụ hôn ngọt ngào chỉ cho nhau mối tình bất diệt bước nhẹ nhẹ tình gắn bó giữ cho lòng ngây thơ như nụ hồng vừa nở như mây vừa thành trong căn nhà quen thuộc chân gối còn gái ngủ ngột ngang hạnh phúc nhỏ nhói như hai bàn tay trắng lý tưởng xa vời in dấu chân mây nhiều khi tự nhủ phải quên sâu để sống nay đất nước người nằm
ngày nợ núi sông giọt lệ nào rơi thôn thức mãi trong tôi giọt lệ nào rơi thôn thức mãi trong tôi sống là thế hay đời là như làm được gì với đôi bàn tay người thân ơi nơi trời xa có biết con tim chân thành hoài vọng có hương bút mực dù khô nhưng lụy phiền vây kín trời đất làm ngơ bỏ nhân loại đoá đây quên sâu để sống nay đất nước người nay nợ núi sông giọt lệ nào rơi thôn thức mãi trong tôi giọt lệ nào rơi thôn thức mãi trong tôi là thế hay đời là như thế ta làm được gì với đôi bàn tay người thân ơi nơi trời xa có biết con tim chân thành hoài vọng có hương bút mực dù khô vây kín trời đất làm ngơ bỏ nhân loại đoá đầy bút mực dù khô nhưng lụy phiền vây kín trời đất làm ngơ bỏ nhân loại đoá đầy bút mực dù khô nhưng lụy phiền vây kín trời đất làm ngơ bỏ nhân loại đoá đầy bút mực dù khô nhưng lụy phiền vây kín trời đất làm ngơ bỏ nhân loại đoá đầy bút mực dù Gift and Peace, the theme of today's concert was inspired by Supreme Master Ching Ha, poems Let's Love. Though it is written many years ago, it conveyed a timely message of hope and encouragement. It reads, let's live just for each other. Let's live on for our future. Let's build Eden on earth. Let's gift peace to each other. Set to music by the renowned Mr. Al Kasha, a song, Let's Love, will be performed by a dazzling constellation of arts. Turning to the stage are Ms. Liz Calloway, Ms. Melissa Manchester, Ms. Melba Moore, and Ms. Karen Zimba. And it will be joined by Mr. Kashif and Mrs. Leah Alpha. 
Mr. Kashif is a famed musician. And a friend of mine. And a friend of John's and a legendary record producer whose work has been recognized by Grammy nominations and a constant demand from prominent artists as a writer and a producer. He sold over 70 million records. Wow. He's a friend of mine, did I tell you that? Wow. <laughs> well, he's worked with Whitney Houston, Kenny G, George Benson, Mariah Carey, Dionne Warwick, Barry White, and, and many he's others. A friend of John. As a singer, songwriter, and multi instrumentalist, he's well known as an innovator with multiple hits since his debut album with Arista Records. A devout Muslim who respects all life, Kashif practices the vegan lifestyle. Ms. Leah Adler wrote, uh, produced, starred in original musical to benefit breast cancer patients. At the age of 23, she carries an artistic family tradition as a daughter of Tony and Oscar nominated playwright filmmaker, Mr. Roger Adler. The three and a half octave lyric soprano went on to fulfill many roles in film, television, theater, most notable, starring in Disney Broadway show, Adele. She is also an animal lover and vegetarian. Ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy Let's Love.
Supreme Master Chin Hai and all our honored guests, we thank you very much for your esteem and lovely presence for the Supreme Master Television fourth anniversary concert, Gifting Peace. And now we'd like to invite all of the performers again to the stage for our grand finale farewell. It's just going to be something short and fun to top off today's heartwarming event, so come on up. And everybody, let's sing along. Hey, you guys are great. of the show. Well, that's also true of our dinner. Have a great dinner. Thank you so much, everybody. Well, the hopes I was trying to convey to the audience, because I was singing the words of Supreme Master and they already have a feeling of belovedness for her, was to try to capture the inner life of the writer who would come up with those images and those words. And I hope because of David Shire's expansive music that we created an inner life for Supreme Master's words to come through, for the emotions to come through, to connect with the audiences. I loved Afternoon Walk uh, because uh, gratitude is a central pillar of my life. Um, and to sing a song that says thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, over and over, thank you for the hours, thank you for the days, thank you for the seconds, thank you for the night. Thanks for the It puts me immediately into a positive, sweet place, the place where I want to be, the place where I feel most connected with spirit. And the other song about loneliness was very touching because you really felt the isolation of emotion when you are in that 
sad, isolated, lonely place. And even the Supreme Master must have her moments. And that's what makes the divine human. And so to sing a song that really sculpts that feeling so beautifully, it's a gift for me as a singer. So life won't be a gloomy You have gathered top entertainers in the entertainment industry um, who are lending their voice and are able to bring this message to millions more. And the poetry put to music was so beautiful. I love her books, I love her music, I love her poetry. Love is so fiery hot. It inspires me a lot. Love is so icy cold. Love is like She's so prolific, it's pretty amazing. Um, and then these two particular songs really spoke to me. Faded Love, um, I just immediately thought this is very descriptive, beautiful about rivers and all, you know, Faded Love of course, but all about nature. And I had this very atmospheric piece that I wanted to write for that. Remnants of a dream Gathered together And then Love I just read that and as I was writing that song it just became, I think it would be a great pop song actually because it's just such a universal song about love. I mean love is everything. Love makes us miss each other but love also wants us to forget. A love is a gentle breeze but love is also turmoil and love can be serene. It was just a beautifully descriptive song about love. Supreme Master Chen Hai's poetry is just so awesome. It's, it's inspired from above. I love them all. And they get you to think about our connection with our higher self. They get you to think about love, unconditional love, how we could care and help others, how just a smile to a stranger could change that person's day. The message is always there in the poetry and the songs is always about love, giving, sharing. It's a reiteration of what we know, but it's always nice to hear. It was really wonderful. I loved hearing from all these people from different parts of the world. I loved seeing the different cultures represented and the different kinds of voices. It was really beautiful. I really enjoyed it, especially the Balinese dancing. It's amazing. Um, people all different culture get together here, and uh, this is the only way we accomplish peace in this earth. Selamat ulang tahun yang keempat. Supreme Master Television dan Supreme Master Shanghai. Anakhnu smechim liyot po v'leyatseg et Israel. Mazel tov to Supreme Master Television. Be the edge, go green to save the planet. I think um, that's such a cool thing to be able to do is to relate the music to the poetry and I was very impressed. I really loved when there were five, I think five performers that came together and sang one of Supreme Master's songs and they did it all so beautifully and you could just see their, their eyes welling up with tears, it was so heartfelt. Let's embrace and share. Let's love each other. Let's do it. Let's 
help each other out. We live in this wonderful world. We're very lucky, and let's take care of it. I agree with Karen. Let's take care of each other and love each other. And I have to say, it was just a, a joy to get to share the stage with these wonderful singers. We had a ball on and off stage. <laughs> it's really exciting. I think each one of us were chosen. I think that we were chosen because of our spirituality and our love of being human and being alive and uh, creation. And so to share your, your art or whatever it is you do in your life with people that are on the same plane and it's so important to be supportive of the planet is very exciting. It's just such a beautiful song and I think we all believe in the message and it's definitely wonderful to be able to sing that message out and, and communicate it to the world because we definitely need more of those sort of messages. And just personally, it was such an honor working with these talented, amazing ladies. We had such a fun time. <laughs> we had a blast. Let's love each other. The rainy season fresh and cool. The power of a song becomes clearer and clearer to me as I get older and older. Songs can move a mountain, whether you're singing This Land is My Land in the middle of the Depression, or singing We Are the World, or today singing Let's Love. So it was really thrilling to sing that song. I set two of her poems to music and never changed one line. And the words just seemed to come off the page when I started composing the music. One of her poems is Let's Love, and that's what it's really all about. Love never fails, as it says in the Bible, which is true. Never fails. She is a wonderful person and a loving person. All the essence of, of beauty was in, in the songs and in the poems. So I didn't find it difficult at all. Love each other, the rainy season, fresh and cool. one of the last performances, the one that was her poetry in their native language, was just moving. Uh, not being able to understand the words, but you could really understand the meaning and the, the feeling behind it was just phenomenal. Hôm nay thì cũng rất là vui được hợp tác với đài truyền hình Thanh Hải Vô Thượng Sư. Những cái bài hát của Thanh Hải Vô Thượng Sư đều nói về tình yêu, về cái sự hòa bình. À, kêu gọi cái hòa bình và về cái tình yêu của của con người đối với nhau à, và con người đối với với thế giới tôi cũng cảm thấy là khá gần gũi những bài hát này Trẻ và tim rất đẹp. hôm nay là lần đầu tiên tôi trình diễn cho đài vô thượng sư và tôi không có ngờ chương trình này lại có thể có được những người nghệ sĩ tên tuổi mà nổi tiếng ở trên thế giới hay rất là ấn tượng đó hay, uh, chương trình rất là có giá trị đối với một chương trình truyền hình và tôi rất là vui rất là vui là hôm nay được tham dự chương trình này. tôi hy vọng năm sau tôi sẽ được mời nữa Every celebration that I've been uh, that involves the Supreme Master has been beautiful. And every time I come, I, I experience something new that awakens my heart. Plus, I see how much people really care, they put a lot of heart into this. Everything was very uplifting and very loving um, and done in such a beautiful way, especially because the musicians were also so talented. I feel like in a cloud of love, we're just like truly, truly beautiful events. Love the dancers, love the singers, love the presentations, it was beautiful. Love to hear the Supreme Master speak as well. I'm just blown away at how well put together this is. During the program for me was, I'm entering to a new world. A world of kindness, a world of peace and wisdom. The dancers, the performers, they're all so, so graceful tonight the best of humanity was presented tonight. It was a long day and yet I couldn't move from that spot. I couldn't get up and move because I didn't want to miss anything. It's one of the greatest impact that it's going to have in the world, what I saw today. Beautiful, very inspirational. 
definitely a very cultured evening. It's like a convergence of uh, different color, nationalities, religions, and so it's kind of like a limitless room of talent, but it's also uh, brings together people of like mind. Not thinking of who you are, what name you are, what color you are, where you come from. It's just that loving of all cultures being together, showing what they can do. I love all the different cultures coming in and performing. You get to see uh, love is love. We are global. We are not just one nation. All nation is connecting together. That's the beauty of Supreme Master. fabulous the costumes and all of the acts and the performances I love the poetry it just puts you like in this very like meditative state very professionally done there was a lot of humor there was a lot of seriousness and uh, I think it's a testament to what the Supreme Master is doing. She's doing an absolutely marvelous job. Great to be part of Supreme Master Television. I didn't know what to expect and I'm so touched how connected the audiences are and the worldwide community is and the folks working on the program. They're so connected to the concept of a vegan life and healing the world. It's it's beautiful. We loved it. It was it was wonderful. Such a good cause and wonderful entertainment. Fabulous! <laughs> the music was wonderful. Yeah. The dancing was gorgeous. The songs were beautiful. And the food, <laughs> the food was Supreme Master Television is incredible. It's warm, it's human, it's loving, and it's vegan. What else can you ask for in life? What else? What else? I want more. <laughs> I want more. I'm so invigorated that I feel I could, I could walk the world. This channel is about positive feelings and about things that everyone takes for granted. All we see on television is violence, so it's very nice to see something that's progressive and moving towards a better place. Using television as a medium to get this message of peace and love all across the world the way it has today, I, I think it's profound and I think it should be exercised more. I just think it's amazing when a news station can actually feature positive stories. All the principles of uh, Supreme Master Television are very important to me as well. It's so lovely to turn on the TV and see good news and inspiring news instead of what we usually hear. Supreme Master Television is an amazing outlet. I think anytime you can get the vegan message out there, is the best thing in the world and to do it in so many languages so it's out there and accessible to everyone else. You guys are doing an awesome job. Uh, I hope more people, more television stations follow suit uh, because positivity has no boundaries and that message of love, what I heard today on stage and from Supreme Master at Chiang Hai, I want to see that over and over and over again. group of people who are so positive and who care about the things that I care about in the world, who care about making a better planet, about really bringing peace on earth, about fighting back against animal cruelty, going vegan. So usually I feel like I'm kind of the lone vegan in the world and swimming upstream and so it's really nice to be with a group of like-minded people. It's an absolutely am amazing organization of people that run on pure love pure spiritual energy and the vibrational frequency when you walk in it makes you feel so healthy inside it makes you feel so good and I want to congratulate but I also want to thank Supreme Master Shanghai and everyone at Supreme Master TV for being able to bring this message to the world because we need it the world needs it Hi, I'm Spice Williams Crosby, and you're watching Supreme Master Television. And I'm here to say, be veg, go green, to save the planet. Supreme Master Television, congratulations on four outstanding years. Supreme Master Television is the greatest, greatest TV in the world. It's got so much to offer, and I'm so proud to be associated with Supreme Master TV. God bless you. Keep it up. The world needs it. Congratulations to Supreme Master Ching Hai, to the Supreme Master Television. Thank you so much for doing such good for all. Hi, 
my name is Trina Parks. You're watching Supreme Master Television. Be veg. Go green to save the planet. It's been four years of a beautiful gift to all of us. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Lindsay Wagner, and you're watching Supreme Master Television, and lucky to be doing so. Congratulations and best wishes, and may this be the start of a hundred years yeah. of vegan living. I want to congratulate Supreme Master Ching Hai on the four-year anniversary. You're doing an amazing job. Keep up the good work. I have a young boy, and the environment in our world is so important, so well done. Happy birthday to you. Donna Lewis, and most of you will probably remember my song, I Love You Always Forever. And you're watching Supreme Master Television. I'm glad that I got committed to this show and committed to being uh, a vegan after this show. I will become a vegan, I really will. Master Ching Hai, I admire you, I respect you and uh, it's good to be your friend as well and all the goodness that you're giving the world by preaching the world of love and peace. Hi, my name's Brandi Williams and congratulations Supreme Master Television on your fourth anniversary and thank you so much for all that you do and especially for all that you do for the animals. Hà Trần xin kính chào Thanh Hải Vô Thượng Sư. Xin chào tất cả quý vị. Quý vị đang theo dõi đài truyền hình Vô Thượng Sư được phát sóng trên toàn thế giới. Xin hãy cùng chúng tôi ăn chay, sống xanh để cứu địa cầu. Be veg, go green to save the planet. Be veg, go green to save the planet. Xin kính chào Thanh Hải Vô Thượng Sư và quý khán giả. Tôi tên là Tuấn Ngọc. Quý vị đang xem đài truyền hình Vô Thượng Sư được phát sóng trên toàn thế giới. Xin quý vị ăn chay, sống xanh để cứu địa cầu. Be veg, go green to save the planet. Well, now that I know of this station, I will watch it always and I'll be a fan. I will always promote it and always be accessible to you people to ever do anything for you. And I mean that. Supreme Master Ching Hai, happy fourth anniversary. All my love and respect. Happy fourth anniversary, Supreme Master Television. You're watching Supreme Master Television. Be veg, go green to save the planet.
respectfully thank Supreme Master Ching Hai for gracing Gifting Peace with her inspiring poetry and loving presence via teleconference. Our sincere gratitude also goes to the esteemed composers, singers, musicians, dancers, speakers, government dignitaries, crew, and honored guests who contributed to this joyous celebration. As Supreme Master Television moves forward into our fifth auspicious year, we would like to convey our deep appreciation to all global viewers for your cherished friendship. We join you in the noble wish that our Earth will soon elevate to a higher consciousness of compassion and harmony with Heaven's blessing.